Hi James, this is Jeff with Zucor Marketing. We're based out of San Antonio, Texas and Eric forwarded your website over for an analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more customers online. We're also going to run through a couple of things that you can implement right now. And aside from reviewing your website, we're also going to look at one of your top competitors website and show you how they're currently beating you online and the things that you can actually do differently to, of course, counteract that. So first, we'll start off with your website. Well, you actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo at the top. You have your call to action. You also have good photos, um, nice layout, good amount of contents, the services that you offer. Um, yeah, so there's actually just some few things we're going to get over with first to make sure we get you on top of the search list. Well, one thing you can tell right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1,500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have more words um, on your website. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just for us to see how many words you have on your website. So currently you have 462 words, which is not a bad number. However, we're still quite behind with the goal of 1,500. So the more words you have, the better. Another thing we like to talk about are keywords. Google is also looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So we did a quick search of the roofing companies in one of the areas you're servicing. We'll talk more about the results that we have here. Starting off with the first one. So this is what we call the map pack. And of course, this is something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and they're easier to find. One way for you to actually be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile where you'll enter as much information as possible, like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also, if you add those same information into as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, that will really help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads, just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So I pulled up one of the top ranking website. Let's see what they have differently. Well, for their website, they also have their logo at the top. They also have their call to action, good photos, good amount of content. So let's see how many words they have on their homepage. So for their website, they currently have 1,456 words, um, which has a better number. So again, one of our main focus now would be adding more words to your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Let's go ahead and dig deeper with the numbers as well. So we have your Ahrefs, one of the paid tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. We'll be talking more about the numbers starting off with DR. So this is the level of trust that Google has in your website and UR is the strength of your website. Backlinks, on the other hand, these are other websites that were first to your website. So they're like shout outs from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and the like. One important thing that I need to discuss about backlinks and referring domains is that this actually needs to be a two to one ratio. So this four referring domains that you have, these are what we call the good or strong backlinks. And the rest of the missing backlinks, those are what we consider the spammy backlinks. So let's go ahead and take a look at your competitors' numbers and we'll be comparing the numbers and we'll see what they have differently. Starting off with DR and UR, well, it shows that they have more numbers, which simply means that Google actually finds their website a much more trustworthy and also a stronger website. That's mainly because they have more backlinks, they have more keywords, which gave them more traffic. Well, you don't need to be overwhelmed with, with the numbers that they have here. All you need to do is just to increase the number of your backlinks, add more keywords, and make sure to increase the strong backlinks as well for you to have a much better ratio. And as a result, you'll definitely get more traffic out of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the strong backlinks and keywords that they're using. 
And let's discuss the importance of this too, especially in making your website stronger and better. So starting off with the strong backlinks, these are all the directories they're currently listed on that brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're also ranking higher in the searches. And next are the organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are the total number of people that searches for the specific keywords on Google every month. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. Another thing we like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. So for every photo that you have listed on your website, you can actually rename them with a hidden keyword instead. That way you'll be able to have more hidden keywords added into your website and not only that, of course, for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can do to improve your ranking is first the amount of content where we're going to add more words into your homepage. That way Google will actually consider your website a much more trustworthy website. Next are the backlinks where we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way we can actually bring you more traffic and of course the higher chances of your website in appearing in most of the map pack searches. Last but not the least will be the keywords where we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and of course choosing the right ones. That way more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So these are all the things that you can actually implement right now and of course we can also help you out in making these changes and more with the goal of getting you many new customers. Eric will also be following up just to get some feedback about the ideas I discussed on this video so I really do appreciate your time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.